EK200. Getting energy from the wind doesn't only mean using traditional wind turbines. A different and effective method involves using flying machines resembling kites. This approach is not only more efficient and economical, but also environmentally friendly without the complications of sophisticated technology. Imagine a truck with a setup that includes a mast-like gadget and a flying kite. The truck unwinds the kite, sending it soaring to heights between 660 and 980 feet. Riding the wind downstream, the kite tugs on cables from the ground station's drums, and this motion gets converted into electricity by a generator. Once the cable's all out, the kite returns, ready to repeat the process. It's important to mention that the kite's effectiveness gets a boost because it doesn't just float in the breeze, it follows eight shaped paths. The most advanced model from EnerKite can generate up to 2 megawatts of power thanks to the kite being super aerodynamic without any unnecessary gadgets or parts. The EnerKite system stands out for being both cost-effective and environmentally friendly because it doesn't rely on building or maintaining expensive infrastructure for energy extraction. This sets it apart from wind turbines which require various materials for their construction. By the way, you can easily create a system at home that harnesses energy with a kite, proving that it's a really simple and efficient way to get free energy. Wave Energy Generator Setting up wave generators can be tricky due to various challenges, but EcoWave Power offers a solution that takes care of these issues. You'll notice the company's gadgets are set up in an unconventional spot for regular wave energy, right there on the shore. This stands out as a key plus compared to the typical wave generators that are placed way off the shore. To start with, having the generator installed on the shore means you don't have to worry about the cost of getting it delivered by water. On top of that, maintaining onshore units is much more straightforward. Finally, going for a shore-based installation is just plain safer considering the potential damage from offshore waves. The EcoWave power system works like this. Waves move the floaters, squeezing and releasing hydraulic pistons that push a biodegradable liquid to accumulators located on the shore. The pressure created in these accumulators then powers a hydraulic motor, which in turn runs a generator that sends electricity to the grid through an inverter. Also, the system's fully automated and adapts to the current conditions. For example, if a storm hits and the wave height is too high for the devices, they're automatically raised and remain in that position. When the storm passes, the floaters stabilize and return to normal operating mode. Solar Container Imagine the perfect invention for those who love the idea of free energy. Once set up, it's just a 20-foot long, 8-foot wide, and 9-foot tall container that blends in seamlessly and can be easily transported. However, when it reaches its destination, something truly incredible happens. After a bit of tweaking, a frame equipped with an intricate rail system is positioned on the surface. Then the solar panels start unfolding one after another along the prepared track, shaping a compact solar farm spanning 390 feet. The fully unfolded farm is made up of 240 photovoltaic modules occupying 7,700 square feet of space. Remarkably, the entire installation process takes less than five hours. Within such a short time, you get a farm that generates up to 140 kilowatts of power. This capacity allows to provide electricity for up to 50 households with average consumption. At the same time, the high capacity combined with a high level of mobility allows the container to be used as an emergency source of electricity. This can come in handy in places where there have been natural disasters or other events that led to power disruptions. Disruptions. It's also possible to use the container in remote off-grid communities where setting up conventional power sources is costly. In Qatar, there's this massive solar farm covering an area of four square miles. It took over a year to put it together. Now think about how quickly they could build it using the containers. Solar-Powered Scania Truck There's a fresh wave of developments in how we tap into solar energy through solar panels. Scania, for example, has decided to equip its truck with solar panels. 
The entire 60-foot trailer of the truck is completely covered with solar panels, and while the panels are usually installed on the roof, Scania has decided to put them on the sides as well. Regular panels couldn't be fitted onto a constantly moving vehicle, leading Scania to design fresh alternatives from scratch. The result is a set of panels that are both lighter and more efficient, able to endure the strains of constant moving. Scania's devices are more efficient than regular panels, generating 8,000 kilowatt hours of energy annually while driving across Sweden. In sunnier places, the truck can produce even more free energy, usable for transportation or storage for various purposes. Where did Scania get the idea? The concept probably came from skillful people who've been converting their vehicles into moving solar farms. Wave Energy Converter Turning the sea into a source of profitable energy has been a tough nut to crack, but Weptos has cracked it with their innovative solution. Their invention takes wave energy conversion to a whole new level of efficiency. The wave energy converter from Weptos is a floating structure that consists of two frames. They support a large number of rotors. The rotors move with the waves, driving an axle that's connected to an independent power takeoff system. This system is essentially controlled electric motors that generate electricity. Weptos has upgraded its system to be more adaptable, allowing it to capture more energy from regular waves and withstand the force of really powerful waves. To put it in plain language, it can harness more power from the waves we usually see and endure less damage from the intense ones. Another perk is that the design is straightforward and modular, making it faster and more affordable to produce compared to other similar systems. Thanks to its user-friendly design and efficient energy conversion tech, the Weptos device achieves a solid 60% efficiency, plus generating electricity costs just 30 euros per megawatt hour, a significant savings compared to similar devices. ANU B1 Vertical axis turbines have been known for their lower efficiency compared to the familiar propeller turbines. ANU has taken up the challenge to fix this by creating a turbine that blends the best features of both types. First off, they need to figure out how to blend the best features of different wind turbines into one. The outcome is a mix of the classic and vertical axis types. There are four blades set horizontally, each equipped with two additional vertical blades. The device stands at 216 feet, and the rotor spans 171 feet in diameter. Thanks to this combo design, the turbine eliminates the problem of reduced power generation. ANU's wind turbine boasts a robust 1,500 kilowatts of power, surpassing its counterparts by a considerable margin. Meanwhile, it retains the benefits of vertical axis designs, offering a quiet operation and the ability to harness wind from any direction. Underwater Energy Bags the recently mentioned wind turbines are good at harvesting free energy, but they have a catch. They're not always working, and saving that energy is tricky. The great solution is storing it in special underwater bags. It's cheaper than using batteries, thermal plants, or pump stations, but how does that work? Storing energy in a bag might sound like something out of a fantasy tale, but it's actually just basic physics at play. These bags are strategically placed at deeper depths, eliminating the need for manual pressurization to store compressed air. In simpler terms, depth takes care of the hard work for people. The bags work like this. When there's extra power in the system, it runs an electric motor to operate a compressor. The compressed air is cooled and kept under a pressure of 60 to 70 bar. When electricity is needed, it's drawn from the stored air, heated and passed through a modified gas turbine. After that, the energy is converted by an electric generator and fed back into the grid. In the long term, these bags could be the most cost-effective way to store wind energy that currently exists. Floating Solar Farms The beauty of Ocean Sun's aquatic solar farms lies in their inspiration drawn from nature, making these projects truly remarkable. The company took inspiration from water lilies which gracefully sway along with the water. These lilies stay calm, even in rough waves, because they're at one with the environment. So why can't solar panels be as adaptable on the water? What makes Ocean Sun's farms impressive is their clever design. 
They feature solar panels placed on floating platforms surrounded by buoyancy rings secured to the seabed. These panels come with a monocrystalline silicon module, double glass, and added protection against water pressure. The buoyant layer provides a sturdy and adaptable foundation for solar panels capable of enduring various water conditions. It can withstand powerful sea waves, including Category 4 typhoons with wind speeds reaching 168 miles per hour. Different floating farms have different capacities. Take the OS-75, for example, with a diameter of 246 feet and an output of 650 kilowatt hours. On the other hand, the OS-50, sized at 164 feet in diameter, generates 280 kilowatt hours. Uniway this innovation is born from nature's inspiration. In this instance, the mines at Waveswell Energy drew their ideas from a blowhole. In simple terms, a blowhole is a gap in the ground that connects to underground spaces or links to a water body. If it's along the shoreline, sometimes a spout of water shoots up from the hole when specific conditions are met. This happens because of pressure differences. This is exactly how the Uniwave works, which is a massive unit with a large concrete base and a hollow center chamber. When water gets inside, and then rises and falls inside the chamber when it's agitated, the air is forced through the turbine, thus spinning it and creating electricity. After a year of thorough testing, the plant consistently generated 200 kilowatts of power with a 50% efficiency. This performance outshines solar panels, which typically operate at 15 to 20% efficiency and puts it on par with wind turbines. Wave Swing While many companies are busy creating unique and eye-catching designs for their wave energy converters, there's one invention that catches attention not for its appearance but for how efficiently it works. Wave Swing seems quite straightforward. It's essentially a 23-foot-tall, 13-foot-wide buoy weighing 50 tons. It sits below the water at a depth below 82 feet. Setting it up takes just 12 hours, a relatively short time compared to other devices that harness wave energy. Once in place, the buoy shows its efficiency. You have the flexibility to configure a single unit to generate power from 15 kilowatts to 500 kilowatts. Furthermore, you can combine wave swing units into larger designs, going up to 10 megawatts, which is quite a substantial amount. Wave Swing's location beneath the water surface not only ensures efficiency, but also virtually eliminates the need for maintenance, shielding it from the destructive impact of sea storms. The buoy's simple internal design relies on a basic hydraulic motor to convert forward motion into rotary power, effortlessly driving the generator. This straightforward approach makes Wave Swing an optimal solution for companies seeking to reduce electricity expenses and minimize the maintenance of their assets. Sun Socket Aspect Solar has come up with a groundbreaking invention challenging the notion that sun tracking tech is only for big solar panels. Picture this, a portable, walkable panel that soaks up everything the sun has to offer. The sun socket may look like a fancy 25-pound briefcase from the outside, perfect for important papers. Open it up and suddenly it's reminiscent of a camping stove. But then things get way more intriguing than that. The solar panel can stretch out, reaching a length of 45 inches. Once it transforms, it becomes a 60-watt solar solar power generator. The harvested energy goes into a lithium-ion phosphate battery with a 20-amp-hour capacity. Meanwhile, the battery can stay in standby mode for years, losing only a maximum of 2% charge per month. After being switched on, the panel automatically adjusts to face the sun. This results in a substantial boost in performance, fully charging the battery using free energy in just five hours. With enough sunlight, you can not only power up the battery, but also charge phones, tablets, and more. SYN Power Waves Energy Converter This contraption is built to harness wave energy. 
Placed along the coastline at a fitting spot, it moves up and down in response to the waves. Its appearance is straightforward, and so is the way it works. As a 33-foot rod moves up and down in the water, it activates generators at the top, producing 36 kilowatts of electricity. At the same time, the unit has an intelligence system that maximizes power generation in different climates. The unit's simplicity is matched by its straightforward manufacturing process, saving not just electricity but also the cost of maintenance and production. Every component is mass-produced and follows a standard design. Ocean Hydro Omni Hydro Wind Energy's wind turbine is designed to be highly efficient and self-sufficient, harnessing free wind energy and storing it for later use. Gathering wind energy using the Ocean Hydro Omni follows the conventional approach with a rotor. It's important to mention that keeping up with the latest trends, it features a vertical axis rotor. The wind turbine has a capacity of 1 megawatt, and in a day it can generate between 1,600 and 13,800 kilowatt hours of electricity when the wind speed ranges from 9 to 89 miles per hour. This is an impressive performance that outperforms many similar turbines. What sets Ocean Hydro Omni apart from traditional wind turbines is its ability to independently store energy. The process is quite fascinating. The air gets compressed and pumped into a special tank. This tank is then submerged to depths ranging from 330 to 1,640 feet using the water pressure to maintain the air in a compressed state. When energy is required, it's simply drawn from the tank. The storage tank can hold up to 70 kilowatt hours in one cycle, and there can be anywhere from 21 to 189 charging cycles per day. 